I kind of feel bad for Plague. He just wants someone to play with. Well, how about some Rock of Ages? It's not just a Def Leppard song anymore. This is published by the always entertaining Atlas, who is known for publishing some unique games like Catherine and the almighty Dark Spire. Rock of Ages is like Super Monkey Ball mixed with a tower defense game wrapped in the Terry Gilliam art style from Monty Python, as you literally bowl your way through history. Rolling your way through levels as quickly as possible, crushing enemies on your way to beat down the level boss's door and flatten them. The music changes depending on what era you're playing. There's end boss battles. And you're not rolling alone, you are also competing against your opponent's rock, who rolls down a mirror image on the other side after you set up your defenses, which I'll show you momentarily. In the offensive mode, basically you want to get to the enemy door as quickly as possible without hurting your precious rock, so you do the most damage against their door, which is like cracking open a delicious Tootsie Pop on your way to the Tootsie Roll inside. My door strength is on the bottom left. One more hit and I'm done for, so I've got to beat down his door really fast. I'm almost there. The plague's strength is on the bottom right. One more hit should do it. I've defeated the plague. It's time to move on to the next level. Let's take a look at defense. You have money to spend in Rock of Ages that you earn by crushing things as you're rolling about. And with that money, you can buy towers, explosive devices, cannons, animals that attack the enemy boulder, or more powerful boulders like the one that's on fire. You have some time as your rock is being built to place your defenses. And when playing the game, it may take some time to learn how to fashion defense. My strategy is simply to slow down the enemy boulder. Explosive devices are good, they'll blow them off the road or playing field or whatever it's called. There's wind devices which will help to push it off the side as well, and that really slows down the enemy, giving you more time to bash their door in. Don't forget, they're also building defenses, and you can learn a lot by watching what they do. Notice that your opponent is also featured in the top right, so you can see where they are and get a peek at what you've done to see if it makes any difference. There's also a variety of keys to collect in each level, and while the game starts off with fairly straightforward level designs such as this, they eventually get really bizarre and offer quite a bit of replay value because there's multiple ways to go through them. see what some enemy defenses have done to me. I've lost a boulder, which really slows me down, but I'm still going to win this level. In addition to the storyline mode, you also get some additional stuff like challenges, and uh, Rock of Ages is a nice package. This is a downloadable game from Xbox Live, and it's one of the more interesting titles that I've seen lately. <laughs> Okay, here's a nice shot. As you're playing defense, you can actually watch their boulder if you look closely and learn how your strategy is affecting their game. Rock of Ages also has multiplayer. You can play a friend over Xbox Live. Also, watch out for downloadable content. I will warn you though, if you get into this game, it's addictive. Oh, and here's a look at one of the boss battles. These are interesting. The rolling part, or offensive, mode in Rock of Ages is quite fun because the levels become extremely complicated. You can hop and bounce through various shortcuts and off of little islands, hovering in space. 
And uh, the defense part is far more complicated, but you'll eventually learn how to place towers and block shortcuts, where to put fans to blow the enemy off the road, and how to place explosive devices to be a real nuisance. It's Rock of Ages!